Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 22nd of February 1943, the first three members of the White Rose Resistance Group were put on trial and executed by guillotine in Nazi Germany. Centred around Hans Scholl and his sister Sophie, the small group of university friends who formed the White Rose printed and distributed their first anti-Nazi leaflet in June 1942. They produced six leaflets in total which were distributed around Germany by hand or by plain packaged post. The Gestapo itself estimated that 10,000 copies had been produced of the fifth leaflet, entitled A Call to All Germans. As the group became more confident of their activities, some members used stencils to paint the slogans Freedom and Down with Hitler around Munich over the course of three nights in early February. A few days later, on the 18th of February 1943, Hans and Sophie distributed over a thousand copies of their sixth leaflet in the hallways of the University of Munich. Having realised that a few copies were still nestled in the bottom of their suitcase that they'd brought them in, they chose to climb the stairs and fling them from the top of the atrium. The Scholls were spotted by university janitor and Nazi party member Jakob Schmidt, who immediately called the Gestapo. The siblings were taken away for interrogation before being sent to trial on the 22nd of February. A third member of the group, Christoph Probst, was also tried after his handwriting was matched to a draft of a seventh leaflet found in Hans's possession. The three defendants were found guilty of treason and were guillotined later that day in the grounds of Stadelheim prison. Hans is known to have shouted, Es lebe die Freiheit, long live freedom, before being killed 